Hello there, welcome to Plant Path Podcast today. My name is Oluwato Simogbadwa Day. This is your number one place for conversations in education. The show is brought to you by Plant Path Consult, your choice hub for trainings, resource development, instructional materials, counseling, collaborations, and everything education. All right, this episode is dedicated to the celebration of World Read Aloud Day. World Read Aloud Day is celebrated on the first Wednesday in February yearly. So for the year 2022, it's celebrated on Wednesday 2nd of February 2022. It's really all about the power of reading aloud. It encourages children and adults to grab a book, find an audience and read aloud. It's celebrated in over 173 countries around the world at the moment. All right, so before we talk about read aloud, read aloud, read aloud, let's talk about the benefits of reading. Let's go on a quick break. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. It's World Read Aloud Day. This episode is, celeb- is dedicated to the celebration of World Read Aloud Day, celebrated this year on the 4th of February 2022. All right. So the benefits of reading. Reading helps to improve your brain connectivity. It helps to increase vocabulary and comprehension. I mean, if you're reading, there's a higher probability that you come up across more tenses, more use of words, and you would, over time, you will over time build your vocabulary and comprehension if you're wondering how this works you can watch uh you can listen to our episode on compound learning you will just find it on this platform you're using um you would see compound learning there and you can listen to it to help you understand how reading helps you to increase your vocabulary and comprehension reading also helps you also aid sleep i mean once you are reading a book (laughs) before you know it you just feel sleepy if you even have sleep issues with sleeping and all i mean i just found you a solution all right reading also helps you to improve empathy to build empathy i mean you'll be more empathetic when you read books um you come across autobiographies even fiction books you glean into the lives of other people, these possibilities that other people face, and you know you will become more empathetic. Really, it takes you out of your of the world you're used to. Reading helps you reduce low your blood pressure because at least you're sitting in a place and you're you're still for the time. It helps to reduce blood pressure. It's it can also help to alleviate the symptoms of depression as well. It's been clinically re- researched that reading can help you to alleviate these, these symptoms of depression. One thing that reading also does for you that I love is that it prevents cognitive decline as you age. Cognitive decline is what happens to people that when they are aging and they can't remember things or their brain functions aren't working well. Um, maybe that's why educators, um, people working in the academia, they seem to always look young and their minds are always alert because they are always reading okay so that those are the benefits of reading um reading aloud it's what read aloud so let's look at the benefits of reading aloud reading aloud will help uh, will help you create build connections and community i mean imagine having a child and you read to that child you know you spend time with the person or you, you spend time with that child is a good way to foster connection you know there's just a thing that grows between you and that child over time um, even if you're in a relationship you're in a marriage not every time go to restaurants or do anything conventionally fun it's also fun to actually sit with your partner and read reading aloud helps you to build your listening skills as well because when you're reading you would be forced to to at least be quiet and listen it's it helps you to have a better retentive memory when you're reading, especially even to a child or anybody you're reading aloud with. You can ask questions. So what happened to this character? What do you think? And all of that is a way to to build retentive memory. And it is also fun. I mean, I like reading aloud because 
by the time you're reading aloud there are different parts of the of the of what you're reading sometimes you have to you know to animate the characters of what you're read the characters in what you're reading you may have to speak louder speak louder speak in a hushed tone and all of that reading is fun reading is really really exciting okay so the best way to really celebrate world read aloud day is to grab a book and read to somebody so i'm going to read to you today all right so i'll be reading a section of the book will by will smith i'm in love with will by will smith honestly so let's go on a quick commercial break we'll be right back <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Um, this is Plant Path Podcast. This episode is dedicated to the celebration of World Read Aloud Day. Thanks for listening up to this point. Please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friend. I mean, let's all read together, learn together, and grow together. I'm reading whole, a, a, a chap a, a section in chapter Hope in the book Real by Will Smith. Um, so listen as I read. As the newcomer in the first round, Jeff was paired against DJ Cheese, the previous year's champion. Most DJs had worked out one or two, two or four routines and repeated them throughout the competition. But Jeff had spent the previous week preparing nine separate 30 seconds routine. He realized that if there were three rounds, each round having three slots, he would be able to go through the whole tournament without ever repeating a single routine. But he took it even further. Each routine was perfectly timed in 30 seconds. So, whereas other DJs were looking sloppy, getting cut off the buzzer, or they had a 20 second intro and never really got their routine started, Jeff's perfectly timed routines had punch lines right at 29 seconds. The effect was that Jeff's buzzer became a signal to the crowd to erupt. The first round is set to begin. Jeff walks across the stage, maybe a little over eager, just a bit too happy to be there, and extends a hand of greeting to DJ Cheese. Cheese looks Jeff up and down and flags him that he's refused to shake, shake his hand. As Jeff returns to his DJ setup, his, his cheerful demeanor is gone and his eyes have turned icy. If Cheese would have known what was coming, he would have just take, shaken Jeff's hand or better yet tried to break it off. Cheese was up first. He came out strong. But Jeff fired back with one of Philly's favorites, a tricky rhythm scratch. People were looking at one another and murmuring, not quite sure what they have just seen. DJ Cheese is eyeballing fresh, sen- sensing this is just the beginning. Nobody has ever seen cutting like this, and the crowd was itching up on was inching up on the edges of their seats. DJ Cheese releases his second routine and once again nailed it. The crowd cheers. Big scores from all the judges. Then the audience settles down to see what other artillery the Philly kid has brought with him. And with no announcement and, and no fanfare, Jeff introduces the world to his Transformers scratch. In 1986, this, that was the illest thing anybody had ever heard. And that was just the first 10 seconds. He finishes the routine slicing Pump Me Up by Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. There's a verse at the end of that song that goes, I'm the bow-legged brother. There will never be another. I I bought a mansion for my mother. Jeff did a breakdown, cutting the last line into syllables. And I bought... A man shone for my and he held it, letting the clock run out at the 29th second, right before the buzzer, and he released the last word, mother. The buzzer sounded and the crowd lost it. These judges were jumping out of their seats and walking around with their hands to their hands to their heads. 
Jeff's scratches were so clean, sharp, and calculated that people realized they were re witnessing the evolution of the art form. DJ Jazzy Fresh was now serving noti that the road to world supremacy rolled through Philly. Jeff was flawless that night, and when it was all said and done, the 1986 world supreme DJ was a kid who spent most of his life in a basement in southwest Philly. My DJ, DJ Jazzy Fresh. <laughs> I totally enjoyed reading that to you. All right, make sure you grab a book and read aloud to somebody. Have an amazing time. See you in our next episode. Make sure you share this with somebody. Bye.